cold in here, Princess Pulveriser complained through chattering teeth as she and her friends gathered in the shelter of a large cave. It's dark too, Lucas replied. I've never liked caves. I'm hungry, Princess Pulveriser continued complaining. How are those grilled cheese sandwiches coming? Dribble held up a cheddar cheese sandwich and let out a flame. Medium heat. Perfect for toasting. Well, usually perfect anyway. It's no use, he told his friends. The bread is too wet, it keeps falling apart. I've had enough of this, Princess Pulveriser complained. Don't worry, Lucas said. When the rain stops, we can buy a loaf of fresh bread. It's not the rain. Or the bread, Princess Pulveriser groused. It's this quest of kindness. It's gone on long enough. I'm ready to go to night school. Oh, it's about the quest. Again, Dribble said with a sigh. Yes, the quest again, Princess Pulveriser replied. Isn't that why we're in the middle of nowhere in the pouring rain? It's why you're out here, Dribble replied. Lucas was already in at night school. And then I was out of night school, Lucas added sadly. I had to leave. The other boys made fun of me. It's not nice to call someone lily-livered. They wouldn't make fun of you now, Dribble assured him. Not if they saw the way you helped battle that cheese monster and outsmarted those giant moles. You are definitely not lily-livered. Thanks, Lucas replied gratefully. The point is, I'm never going to get into night school at this rate, Princess Pulveriser continued. I don't know why my father is making me do good deeds before he lets me go. You know why he's making you go on this quest of kindness, Lucas said. You need to learn how to act in a more knightly fashion before you can become a knight in training. But why did he order me to do eight good deeds? Princess Pulveriser argued. I've already completed four. That should be enough. You've completed four, Dribble asked. I mean, we've completed four, she admitted. Together. Which shows that I've learned to work as part of a team. That's part of being a good knight, right? Definitely, Lucas agreed. And we've bravely risked our lives fighting ogres, trolls and hairy underground beasts, haven't we? She asked. To name just a few, Dribble agreed. And I've become really kind, right? Princess Pulveriser added. The Sword of Truth, a gift from the King of Salamistonia, began to quiver wildly by the princess's side. Okay, maybe that one wasn't completely true. Well, I'm kind-er, Princess Pulveriser corrected herself. The sword lay still. You are, Lucas assured her. Then I should be allowed to enter night school with all the other knights in training right now, she declared. Um, no, Dribble replied. Why not, the princess demanded. Because knights must be patient, Dribble explained. And you've got work to do in that department. Princess Pulveriser glared at the dragon. But she couldn't argue. Hey, listen, Luca said suddenly. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything, Princess Pulveriser said. I exactly, Lucas told her. No more raindrops. I think the storm has passed. Let's get going, Princess Pulveriser exclaimed. We've got things to do. Things like buying fresh bread for sandwiches, Dribble suggested. More like fighting bad guys and doing good deeds, Princess Pulveriser said. I'd rather have a grilled cheese sandwich, Lucas remarked as he followed the princess out into the sunlight. Wait for me, Dribble lifted a shiny metal mace and carried it out of the cave. The mace was a thank you present from the king of Yabko Kokomo, who had wanted to show his gratitude to Princess Pulveriser and her friends for rescuing some of his subjects. It was a nice gift, but very heavy. Dribble was the only one of the trio.